Hello and welcome to Spinsus Library. I'm Claudia and I'm sure you've read the title of this video. Yes, I am doing the Patreon thing. Now, I realise that that is a kind of, still I think a controversial issue on Booktube and not quite the done thing. So I realise that I'm opening myself up to some vulnerabilities here and possibly personal attacks, but I'm really hoping that everyone's going to be really civilised in the comments. Yeah, let me explain to you, first of all, what Patreon is, second, what I am going to do with it, and thirdly, my reasons for doing it. So Patreon is a crowdfunding website that collects money from supporters for a specific creator and um, it is like a subscription service so if you are a member of Patreon you can um, subscribe for a certain amount of money to a certain creator's private special additional feed. So you can basically buy benefits uh, for a certain amount of money that is usually taken out of your account monthly. And those benefits can range from tokens of gratitude to actual real products. And when I was trying to put together my own tiers, I was trying to strike a balance between making sure that the rewards that you get for supporting me on Patreon are of real value. Um, but at the same time that they are doable for me to include in my workload. So let me just go straight into the Spinsters Library Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash spinsterslibrary, and it is of course linked in the description box. So there are three tiers that you can support me with, starting at the, uh, what I'm calling the Spinsters TBR pile tier, because they make you pick names for your tiers, and I didn't have any really good ideas, so now it's called the Spinsters TBR pile. That is the $2 a month option, so for $2 a month you could get access to the Patreon exclusive blog, and in that blog I will um, post about, you know, behind the scenes stuff, personal things, I'll post polls so you can decide what videos I'm going to make next, you know, if I'm not sure whether to uh, film a book review, a tag video or a roundup, then you can help me out there and, and I, I'll be able to then take your opinion into account. I will also post uh, scripts if I have them. Now I'm doing more and more videos without scripts at the moment, but that might well reverse. There will be like musings uh, on booktube issues. There will probably be uh, an insight into my more personal reading and work life and there will probably be quite a lot of cat pictures. So you would get access to that Patreon exclusive blog for two dollars a month and in addition I will attempt to give early access to videos that I pre-film. Again I go through phases of that. At the moment I'm doing really well really well at pre-filming videos. In fact, I am recording this video on the 10th of December. Look at me, two weeks in advance. So uh, when I have videos prepared early, then Patreons of $2 a month will also get access to that before I publish them on my YouTube channel. The next tier up from that is the $5 a month level. And that I have named very inspiredly Spinster's Bookshelf. By the way, can you guess what the third level is going to be called? On Spinster's Bookshelf, for $5 a month, you get the same rewards as the $2 a month level. So the access to the blog and the early release of videos like I've just mentioned. In addition, I will also film more videos for the $5 a month Patreons. So I'll attempt to make at least one, but hopefully two extra videos a month that are only going to be accessible to the $5 and up. And that, again, will allow me to cover some more personal things, things that I don't really want to talk about all up in public, but that I don't mind so much talking about behind what's essentially a paywall. So, for example, a lot of you have been asking me to talk about my research 
like a lot it's it's one of the most frequent questions i get in private messages and in comments to explain what i'm actually researching for my phd but that's generally speaking a bad idea to do in public however you know within the little private sphere of a patreon i'm going to be able to talk freely about my research without having to worry about plagiarism and also other things that are kind of going on behind the scenes that I don't want to put out in the wide open world for everyone to see forever. That again, I don't have as many reserves about talking about in separate videos for Patreons. So those extra videos, which could be discussions, could be vlogs, maybe even the odd live stream, that will be available to $5 a month. Patreons. Then, you also get, and I'm, I'm quite pleased with that, and I hope, I hope people will appreciate those. You will get in the mail, in the post, one of my homemade leafy bookmarks. So I've been really enjoying making bookmarks out of my houseplants. I especially like uh, this type, which is made out of my maidenhair fern. Um, this one is made out of my Boston fern. So uh, I've made quite a few of those in the past few weeks. So I now have a whole bunch of them. And I thought that I could send them out to people when they sign up to the $5 a month level. So when you sign up to that level, you'll have to give me your postal address and then I can send you a little homemade bookmark from one of my houseplants in the mail. Um, for you to enjoy, although I wouldn't recommend sniffing them because even after, I mean, I've had this one for about three weeks and it still smells very faintly of solvent. But I think they're really pretty, I think they're really cute and they combine two of the things I like, plants and books. But let's move on to the third and final and top level and if I'm completely honest, I doubt there will be many takers for this one because this one is going to be $15 a month. Again, you know, maybe Jeff Bezos is watching this, I don't know. Uh, so Jeff, if you would like to sign up to the $15 a month level, uh, which is called Spinster's Library level, do you get it? Because I'm, I'm going from the TBR pile to the bookshelf, to the whole library. Uh, so Jeff, you would get an actual book in the mail. Uh, not one from Amazon, I'm afraid, but you would get a personalized recommended book that I will find in one of the local charity shops. So for that, I would need uh, your Goodreads account or a list of books you've enjoyed, or if you have a booktube channel, you can link me to that so I can, so I can do a little bit of internet stalking and figure out what books you actually like. And then I can go out to the charity shops and find a secondhand book that I think you will love and send that to you in the mail with, of course, one of these bookmarks. I'm really quite excited about that. So I, I hope that Jeff Bezos is watching this and is going to sign up to the $15 a month level. I did this as a giveaway a while ago and I really loved doing that. I really loved stalking someone online. Oh, this, this makes me sound really good. Um, I really loved stalking someone online and finding out their reading preferences and then going and hunting for a book for someone else. That's what you would get for $15 a month. And again, I should, I should mention that the book will be secondhand. So you're not going to get, I'm going to be completely honest here, you're not going to get $15 worth of uh, like a new book. So you will get that, you'll get the bookmark, you'll get the bonus video and you'll get the access to the blog and you'll get the early release video. So you get everything of the previous tiers in addition to the book. Now, if all of that was a bit too confusing, then just check out the rewards on patreon.com slash library. Just one word, no hyphen or anything. Patreon.com slash library, And you can read up on those there. And you can also then read up again on how Patreon works because I'm not sure I explained this correctly. So then I just wanted to preemptively answer some questions of why. Because uh, people who maybe aren't too familiar with Patreon might reasonably think that this is just kind of a crappy money-grabbing venture um, that I'm trying to squeeze money out of my subscribers and that is not my intention. Except for Jeff Bezos, if you're watching it, just give me all your money, dude. But for everyone else, the idea really is that financial support enables creators of all kind to create more stuff. Because if I'm entirely reliant 
on ad revenue, that's a nice bit of pocket money, but it wouldn't even go near a wage where I could consider this a part-time job. Now, I have no ambitions of making this a career or anything like that, but if I'm able to file this as a part-time job, then I am physically more able to put more time and more work and more money into it. So for example, I've been eyeing some microphones. Now, a microphone is not something that, that is just in my hobby budget. However, if I were to raise enough money through this work that I can then buy myself a new microphone, then you get better sound in your videos and I get a new microphone. It's a win-win. But I want to also make sure that this is not going to turn into some exclusive club. The weekly uploads on my channel will not change. I'm still going to upload twice a week, at the very least, and three times if I can, which is the the kind of level that I've been pretty consistent at in the last two years. You know, there may have been a week where there was only one upload, but then, uh, for example, throughout this December, I'm uploading every single day. So it varies, but it's always been at least two videos a week. And I'm going to continue doing that. And for those of you who have got the disposable income to spend on things like Patreon, and I know that the majority of you will not have that amount of money available because I know I don't have that amount of money available. I would love to be able to support the many amazing creators whose content I devour day after day on Patreon. But realistically, I can't do that. And I know most of you can't do that, except for you, Jeff Bezos. Um, so I'm not expecting anything from this. I'm not expecting to um, make a ton of money from this and I'm not expecting you, the watcher, the viewer, the consumer of these videos uh, to go and sign up to the Patreon. If you can and if you're willing to then I do really appreciate that and I am incredibly grateful for every single one of you, every single one, who signs up to Patreon, who watches my videos, who uses the affiliate links, who buys the t-shirts, who helps in the smallest way of making what has been my favorite hobby in years. Hello, Minerva. My favorite hobby that has at the same time been a joy to develop, but also a lot of work to keep up with. If you are in any way helping make that a little bit more profitable than it is, then uh, I am incredibly grateful for that. And so is Minerva. She doesn't look it, but she is. Thank you for watching. Bye.